Hello, it's Mark here for GEK, and I'm here with Tom Pankers. Hello. And today we are looking at the brand new Element pedal from Dark Glass, which is for bass and guitar. Correct, and also other instruments as well, if you wanted to use it in that way. Describe quickly in 20 seconds what this is. Uh, so it's basically a cab sim and a headphone um, amp, but what the cab sim is, is a, it's actually an IR loader which means that you can capture an impulse response of the way a cabinet works. Mm -hmm. So let's say you've mic'd up a cabinet, you capture that as an IR mm -hmm. um, through the, the, the magic ways that they do that. Like if you're interested in that, you can probably just look that up. Um, but then once you've captured that, you can then load it into this, and then it's going to give you the exact sound characteristics of having your, your amp, you know, your cabinet mic'd up. Yep. Um, and you get that consistently every time because it loads that so it's basically a way of putting your cabinet in a box. Cabinet box. Cabinet box. <laughs> Because we were initially, I said to Tom, I was like, oh, didn't Orange bring out that, that micro terror? Micro terror? Stamp? Terror stamp? Micro tamp? Mm, stamp? Yeah. Can't think of what it's called. Which micro was basically an amp in a box. Yeah. This, this is, is different. different. This is different. So um, this doesn't do any preamp. Um, so if any forms of like distortion, anything like that, we would use something like the B7K, which is also from Dark Glass. So you put that in front of this. Yeah. Um, or you could just go straight into this. So basically, this is a way of um, swapping out different cabinet sounds um, as you need to. Yeah. So just imagine a, a range of different cabs yeah. simulated within this. Yeah, exactly. But in a really tiny box. Yeah. yeah. With, with no knobs. Yeah, it's a knobless design. Front. Mark's familiar with a knobless hey. design. Hey. Cool. Um, but so for people that don't know, um, for people that don't know who Dark Glass are and what Dark Glass are about, cool. hit me up. So Dark Glass are a company that for probably over five years now have been consistently cornering the, uh, the base market. Um, they're probably most famous because of this, which is the Dark Glass B7K. Um, I know so many people who've got one of these on their pedal boards. Um, they're made famous because the uh, bassist for Periphery um, used them. And then Neural DSP have got a, um, a plugin which simulates this um, and it's just become that tone for like that modern progressive sort of bass sound mm -hmm. um, but it also does fantastic uh, clean and, and adds a really nice amount of warmth to a lot of uh, different bass styles as well so it's not just a one trick pony mm -hmm. um, so in terms of what dark glass are doing they're obviously branching out a little bit so like, how big are the, how big are they how many um how many have they got a lot of pedals out so they've got obviously things like this um, which are preamps in a box but they also do amp heads, they do bass cabs. You all right? Yep. Good. And uh, they, they just released a new series of lightweight bass cabs as well. Right, um, okay. Which is really useful um, because I've personally lifted one of the old ones mm -hmm. and they're heavy. They mm -hmm. sound amazing, but they're heavy. Mm -hmm. But the new ones sound exactly the same, but they're super lightweight, which is an absolute back saver. Yeah, a lot of, com a lot of modern companies are, are aiming for that now. Yeah. Aiming for the lightweight option. Yeah, it's anyway. great. And then when you've got stuff like this, you don't really need to bring a, an amp head because it just does all of the uh Well, the again, we're, stuff. we're in that, um, we did, we, when we talked about the orange, the product from orange, the amp in the box, amp in the box, <laughs> um, we said the same thing. We said that, that this may not be your, your initial rig, but say you go to a gig and you've got an amp and the amp blows, yep. if you've got these two pedals in your bag. You'd be set. You just go straight, you straight to the straight, desk. Straight to the desk. And it's, it's almost like, 
it's it's a very good backup if you don't want it to be your main thing. You know. Yeah. Um, so I think we should talk about how we would actually use it. Yeah. So um, as a as a recording solution uh, at home or a practice solution, you could just have this pedal. Um, you go into the pedal, and then you just use your your headphones. So it's got two headphone out options on it. Um, you could just put your headphones on and you could be jamming away, you wouldn't need to make any noise. You know, let's say you live with someone and you, you, you practice bass at four in the morning, yeah. this is not going to annoy them. Do. Yeah, you know. Always doing that. I was a student. Um, <laughs> and then... Um, You're the wrong kind of student. Yeah, you know, that's terrible. Four in the morning. It wasn't me. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, I, should have, I should have had one of these. But uh, <laughs> yeah, so, so it's a solution for recording or, or practicing at home you know, silently. You can also plug your... Um, your base head into it mm. so it takes up to 900 watts um, as the output of the uh, of the, or your head and then it actually has an attenuator built in so you could reduce the volume mm -hmm. and then go to a cab mm -hmm. it's not a load box though so it's, if you just plug it straight in without any load without a speaker attached it's going to fry it right. because you've got an, an enormous amount of power yeah. going in um, but it is a way that you could reduce your volume or completely cut the volume yeah. um, from your rig so that's a, that's a home use sort of thing. When it comes to gigging, um, I think this would be a perfect solution for trying to keep things minimal, but also trying to keep things consistent. So what this is going to enable you to do is keep the same cabinet sound every night. Because I'm sure we've all been there where we've yeah. done a gig, we've had our cab mic'd up, and it changes from gig to gig, and yeah. your sound is drastically different. Um, if you have this just going straight to the, the PA, you could even have this in conjunction with like a, a mic'd up cab and this and a DI. And then you'd have the ultimate flexibility in tone. Um, and then it's also got two headphone outs, so you could potentially monitor from this as well into your own little monitoring rig, um, which is super useful. It's a good idea, I think. Um, what else, what other, the other features on it? We have decibel. Yeah, so that's the Barrett. attenuator. Right. Um, and then it's got an auxiliary in, mm -hmm. which means that you can, you know, if you're using it as a, like a headphone option, um, you could just plug your backing tracks or yep. your phone into it and then yep. you'd have the option. It's got a USB-C uh, input on there as well. So what you can actually do with this is it ships with five IRs loaded in, but you can upload your own IRs, right. um, which is where some of the flexibility of this pedal is going to be fantastic. Right. So you, if you've got a favorite IR that you use at home or like in recording, you could take that out on the road with this. Um, it also has built-in Bluetooth as well which is really cool. So you can just drop it in via the Dark Glass app and then it's done. You're the man of knowledge. I was looking at this, thinking this should be like a display of some kind. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is either. I actually don't know. What I, I, yeah. I feel like it's going to say something at any point. Yeah, it just has a little smiley but face. It might just be a nice black smooth nothingness. Maybe it's, can you see through it? You can see yeah. a little bit through it. Not really. I can just see my face in it. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> and and as we said before, it has no knobs. Yeah, which is also... And it's really addictive. I've just been sat here. Well, this. I mean, you could just sit and stroke it, but from, oh. a, from a practical point of view, this is really useful because it's not the sort of pedal that you'd be fiddling with on a gig. You probably just set it up, you choose your cab sound, that's it. Um, if you need to adjust any of the blend stuff, you can do it with your finger. But if it's on your pedal board, you're not going to kick it, you're not going to kick any knobs, you're not going to adjust it, it's just going to sit there which is a really good idea. And, and for things like that, and maybe some other pedal designs, I'd like to see that going forward mm. because that's just really useful. Mm. Coming in, I mean, Dark Glass are, they're not the cheapest pedals. Yeah, but they're high-end stuff, you know. With that, you get quality. This is coming yeah. in around uh, just over 200. Yep. So, um, yeah, let's hear what it sounds like. So I think for this demo, we're going to have a go at using the B7K yes. as a preamp, because if you already own a Dark Glass product, you're probably interested in this anyway. Yeah. So we'll use the B7K for that. Yeah. Um, and then we'll just go straight into the, the cab sim pedal as well. Yeah. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to go direct out from the cab sim into the recorder. Into the recorder. So Maybe you get one a of direct us sound. Play the other one fiddle. Yeah. Sounds good. You're a good fiddler. Uh, only if it's knobless. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank mm-hmm. you.